Hello, and welcome back to the Game & Browse Toy Box. If you're a regular to this channel, you know that there are some franchises that I fangirl over real hard. Well, Nintendo has done it. They've launched the most ambitious crossover product ever. Move over, Marvel, because it's time to welcome Sanrio. That's right, two worlds colliding, Animal Crossing and Sanrio characters, to make a crossover collaboration that's pretty much a dream come true for me. For those of you who don't know, Sanrio is the parent company for characters like Hello Kitty, My Melody, and Gudetama. Now, this isn't the first time that Animal Crossing and Sanrio have seen a partnership. If you play the mobile game Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, there was a collaboration back during the summer of 2019 in which some special Sanrio-inspired clothing, items, and villagers were available in-game for a short period of time. Speaking of, there's actually a new Sanrio event going on right now in Pocket Camp for 2021, so check that out when you're done watching this video. Like I mentioned, the first Pocket Camp Cross Sanrio collaboration happened a few years ago. But did you know that the Sanrio collaboration actually dates back as far as Animal Crossing New Leaf on the 3DS? Well, it's true. When Animal Crossing Amiibo cards were first released alongside Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer in 2015, amidst the various waves of standard villager cards, at one point a special edition pack of cards was released, and it was only available in Japan and Europe, never seeing a Western release. These were, of course, the original run of Sanrio crossover cards. This original run of cards is quite valuable and coveted nowadays, so if you have one of those original packs, be sure to take care of it. But with the popularity of Animal Crossing New Horizons on the Nintendo Switch, and the increasing demand for a reprint of the original Amiibo cards, Nintendo has not just decided to re-release these Sanrio crossover cards, but they've also given us a full Sanrio update for the New Horizons game. Here's the thing, though. These Sanrio collaboration card packs, for the time being, appear to be a Target exclusive item here in the United States which means that you'll actually have to visit a Target store in order to obtain them. Well, that's what I was going to say before yesterday happened. Gather round, kids, cause it's story time. According to this week's Target ad, the Sanrio cards were supposed to be pick-up only items, meaning that the product could only be reserved and paid for in advance online, and then picked up later in the day at whatever store you selected. When I called Target earlier this week, they confirmed this information and said that no in-person packs would be sold and that you had to be ready to snag them when orders opened up the morning of the 26th. Well, Aaron and I both camped out online yesterday morning and we had no luck. The cards were in our carts, but in typical frenzied fashion, by the time we got to checkout, the order couldn't be completed. I was heartbroken. Aaron, not accepting no for an answer, saw online that people were getting them in store after all, even after we were told that that wouldn't happen, of course. So after a few phone calls, Aaron jumped in the car and drove 40 minutes away to the nearest Target that had the Sanrio cards in stock. He managed to make it back to the electronics section of the store to snag the last pack at that location. Big, big thanks to Aaron for making this happen. You're pretty much husband of the year. You're welcome. Side note, this all happened yesterday, March 26th, and we were gonna film all of this the day of, but I actually got my COVID shot yesterday and I felt terrible. So that's why it's all a day late. Sorry. Now, without further ado, let's actually see what these cuties look like. All right, well, here I am. And like Helen mentioned, this was a great adventure trying to actually get these, but since it's still her video, I'm gonna let her go ahead and take the wheel on this. Okay, so here is the Animal Crossing Sanrio collaboration packet. So um, on the front, we have pretty much the cutest pack art ever. That is Hello Kitty wearing Isabelle's outfit and Isabelle wearing Hello Kitty's outfit. And six cards and it contains the entire Sanrio set. On the back shows some of the um, clip art there from the 3DS and from the Nintendo Switch tells you what it's compatible with. And I love that this has an official Sanrio sticker seal on it. I think that's really neat. So, uh, inside the blister, we're gonna go ahead. Slide it up. Yeah, here is that delicious card cellophane goodness. Kind of the 
It's not foil, but it's kind of close. Yeah, kind of the same, the same cellophane that you'd find like Pokemon cards in. So cool. yeah, we're gonna go ahead. Go ahead and get them opened up. Yep, slice this open. So obviously Helen is a huge Hello Kitty fan. As a matter of fact, we got another video that'll be coming down the pike on our uh, Hello Kitty bathroom. It's all pink back there. Yes. So that'll be a fun one to talk about. But I'm actually a pretty, pretty solid Sanrio fan myself. As you can see, I'm wearing a Dear Daniel shirt. <laughs> but also, uh, my favorite is Tuxedo Sam, that, that cute, adorable penguin. He's my favorite of the group. But he's not in any of this, which he, he never is. It makes me sad. Um, I could see them bringing in things like Tuxedo Sam and like uh, Pochaco, kind of the secondary characters. I could see That'd them doing cool. that in the future. All right. So All right. You want to so, go ahead and put Toby down here? Yeah. So one the first time. card, oh, one at a time. Okay. So the first card I see here is Toby. Toby is, of course, modeled after Kiropi. And he has a very Japanese Zen styled garden kind of inspired deal. And so there is the back, shows the Senrio collaboration. Oh, and that's where you would <clears throat> actually press for the amiibo. Correct. So that's where you'd use it with the scanner. So I don't ever Toby. like use amiibo, so any of this stuff is interesting to me. All right, so let's go and look at another one here. This is Chelsea, which is apparently My Melody. <clears throat> yep, My Melody. Cool. You got anything to say about it? I mean, other than it's really pink and. Very pink. Very, uh, it seems like something you would definitely <clears throat> use in your uh, your Animal Crossing village. Definitely. We have Chai, who is modeled after Cinema Roll. Oh, that's super adorable. I love that uh, kind of almost... Like a coffee shop vibe. Well, I was going to talk about that rainbow pastel parasol. But yeah, the little, little coffee shop uh, sandwich board, that's super cool. Which makes sense, because Chai tea. Yeah. Oh, but I didn't even, that didn't even click. Huh. <laughs> Here's one of my personal favorites. That is Etoile. She is the little rainbow sheep that's modeled after the little twin stars, Kiki and Lala, who are definitely um, not some of the more recognized Sanrio characters, they're, they're in my opinion. Of, aren't they like one of the older ones? Like they're, they are, they're 70s. Which makes sense that they don't really jive with us as 90s yeah. kids. We're more like Kuropi, Pochako, those yeah. type of characters. I like the uh, the shooting star here. It's almost kind of got like a weird, soft, pixelated, cloudy kind of Well, it's look. got a fluffy vibe because yeah. she's a sheep. And oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. and Etoile means star in French, so the mm. little twin stars oh, is okay. Etoile. So, so a lot of these names are actually kind of cool. Yeah. Here's one that I think is so cute. Oh, this is adorable. Marty. He is the bear that's oh. modeled after Pom Pom Purin, and he has a almost like a flan, a baked good kind of inspired set. Yeah, it, that would definitely make sense with the, the, the beret and the kind of almost caramel and whatnot colors for a custard flan look to it. I could see this one being your favorite. It, it's super adorable. <laughs> All, right, All right, next so one. The next one is the actual Hello Kitty inspired one, yeah? Yes, Rilla, uh, who is a gorilla, which I think it's really cute that they chose something so different because obviously you'd think, well, why wouldn't it be a kitty? But that's yeah, the thing I is... Yeah, I mean, with a plethora of cats in Animal Crossing games, you'd think they're... they're right, but remember that these characters are actually fans of Sanrio. They're not supposed to be the Sanrio characters in Animal Crossing. They're fans. Just huh. like we dress up, we yeah, cosplay yeah. like people we like. That's fascinating. Yeah, so... So that's all of them, yeah? Yep, that's all of them. So um, this is a set that I've been waiting for for a long time. I've been tempted so many times to buy the very expensive um, import versions of these packs. Yeah, I mean, so... I, I almost thought about buying you that set a while back ago whenever, you know, you could find them on, like, eBay or anything. But they're really expensive. Oh, yeah. So this... Um, Westernized re-release that I can actually read is fantastic. So this was a must get for the Game and Browse collection. So, you know, which it's it's funny because you'd think about the fact that um, they were hard to get because they were imported. But given the Target fiasco that oh just my gosh. happened, <laughs> these ones are just as rare in some cases. Yeah, I mean, sure, they're floating around here. But are you really going to pay 60 or whatever? Some people are going for even higher on eBay. That's crazy. <clears throat> yeah. Keep in mind that the MSRP for this pack is five ninety nine. Yeah, the whole thing cost me like 13 bucks. Yeah. So um, I don't remember if my GoPro caught it, but you might see it on the checkout screen there. Yeah. But, but big thank you to you for making this happen, because I've wanted these in my collection ever since I saw the original ones a couple years ago. So thanks for that. Yeah, no problem. It was uh, it was fun. And like I said, I love Sanrio, so it was cool to actually do this video. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. All right. So with that said, I think that pretty much wraps up today's episode of the Game and Browse Toy Box. 
If you liked this video, or if you like video games in general, please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more content. We've got lots more great videos in store for this year, so we hope that you'll stick around to enjoy them. Bye for now.